Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is our third episode of Genevieve. I'm so glad that you're here. And first off, I just really wanna say thank you so much for tuning in to Genevieve's Let's Play series. This is so crazy and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it. If you're new here, my name is Tay and don't forget to check out my other socials. I go live on TikTok and Twitch every weekend and I post weekly on TikTok as well. So last time we saw Genevieve, she met a Sim named Emmett who I think is going to be a really good friend for her. And this episode, I really wanna focus on building friendships and also building her wellness skills so we can advance in her aspiration. So let's see how this goes. Genevieve is enjoying her morning coffee out here looking at um, the city. Also though, they turned our power off. <laughs> you see how dark it is inside? She is just, <laughs> she's walking around so happy, <laughs> not a care in the world. Ma'am, the power's off. Oh my god, the cable turned off. You should not suck the nigga dick for furry. <laughs> Dead. Okay, we need to pay our bills. I'm nervous. Oh, it's $5,062. Okay. And Nutella just got a new fear. Um, It's not too bad. $5,062. I mean, we only have $19,000. Oof, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do good on our next day of work. <laughs> Yay, okay, we have light. So I really want to send Genevieve to the gym now because she's been having a lot of time at home and she needs to get out and interact with some more people. So I'm gonna send her over to the gym. I was just about to head to the gym and look who comes out to check her mail. Should we say something to her? Cause um, the way she was doing all that stuff in episode one, <laughs> trying to make me mad. I got a few words to say to you, Chloe. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something to her. Um, well, first off, maybe let me introduce myself. I don't wanna give a rude introduction, but I'm gonna give a rude introduction. We'll see if we can be friends after this, cause I need some friends in this city. So you the little girl down the hall who's been making all that noise. That's what I picture her saying. She getting on her ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna apologize. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off that way, but when I go to your door complaining on my self-care Sunday, I like how she's texting while I'm trying to apologize to her. She's rude. <gasps> and she's thinking that she doesn't like me. I'm like, Genevieve needs some friends, also me. I'm gonna give a rude introduction. <laughs> okay, let me calm down. Okay, I'm just gonna get to know her. The hero Ruth Day. Skins the plushies the breeze. Why is she talking about babies? Okay, she's romantic. Why is the... Who is this at my door? Who are you? Oh, this is a... Uh... This is the landlord. What are you doing here? I'm not gonna invite you in. I didn't call you. What do you want? I don't know, you can stay outside the door. My door is locked. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, maybe, ooh, maybe we should invite her to the gym with us. <laughs> we really don't like her, but we need some friends. Let me let me tell her a joke and see if she thinks I'm funny. I'm gonna joke. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you a funny story. Thar Benip, Uchina Golarga Slonkin, find that good boy. It's the landlord just doing push-ups next door. Slippy, Balafoy, Camus, Alwavine. The landlord's like, y'all going to the gym? I'm ready. I'm down. No, you're not invited. <laughs> That's a long story. I actually oh. thought it was funny. Okay. <laughs> Look, she comes over. She's like, did I hear y'all were going to the gym? <laughs> I guess you can come, sis. I guess. Um, let me tell her a funny story, too. I think she's, like, taking pictures of the mailbox to do some repairs. I I'm gonna pretend that's what that was, because that was a little creepy. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, what is this? There's a note 
on the thing. If this is, mm, this is gonna make me mad. If Chloe left me a note, I swear to God. Did she read it? Oh, okay. I know you can make it through the day. Oh, I'm gonna say that was Chloe and she gave me some inspirational quotes because that's the only neighbor we got on this hall. Oh, I like her now. Okay. We're gonna go to the gym with these girlies. Oh. I think they're like frenemies. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think they're frenemies. We're gonna go to the gym together. I'm really, really trying to get to the gym, but everybody and their mama keep coming to my door. <laughs> so Emma just showed up to the door and he said, um, hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor. Um, sir, you don't live in this building. And I appreciate your kindness and friendship. I want to see what it is. So um, I guess I guess I'll invite him in. I don't think he can come in my door though because I locked it because I was not trying to have anybody rob me <laughs> with my money bag in the closet. Why did Chloe just walk in? I did not invite her in. We're going to the gym, sis. <laughs> and why is Nutella out here? They're doing too much right now. But he gave me a present. What is it? She's looking at him like, oh, your outfit is so ugly. What did he give us? He gave us gummy bear pancakes. Okay, let me, um, do I want to hang out for a bit? You want to come to the gym with me and the girlies? Because <laughs> we're going to the gym. Okay, for real this time. We are, we're going to the gym. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the gym. I have um, Genevieve working out. And she's feeling it. She is feeling the workout. Genevieve is trying her hardest to be a gym girly, but... <laughs> We're gonna have to raise her fitness skill. Also, this sim right here is just busting it down. <laughs> okay, I'm having her go over to the treadmill. We're gonna hop on the treadmill and do some work out there. Again, views outside of the gym. It looks amazing. Oh! <laughs> she hopped back on real quick. She's like, nope, y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> so while I was hanging out with these guys in the gym, I used this as an opportunity to <laughs> get some money from them. And I'm doing a yoga class for them. It's $110 per person. So hopefully they give me a tip as well <laughs> so we can make a little coin. Okay, so after the gym, I invited everyone to go out for dinner. So the table that they got is so freaking cute and you can see like the whole city down here. It is so amazing. Like, look at this. Oh, this is such a great spot. So I'm gonna order them some food. I'm gonna order them some drinks. I'm gonna have Genevieve have the Flaming B52 and then a back and tan that can go to Emmett. An apple teeny that sounds like something Chloe would get and then um, I think a whiskey sour would be my landlord's speed okay the barbecue ribs plate that can go to Emmett the crown roast I don't know that sounds good um, I'll give that to her she's shish kebabs I'll give that to me and beef Wellington that can go to Chloe Okay, our server came. She's taking our order. This is what my plate's looking like. My drink looks so good. It's flaming. Okay, so everyone's just about done eating. I think I'm gonna do some karaoke because there's a little karaoke station over there. So I think I'm gonna do some karaoke tonight. Okay, so they had a few drinks and now they're doing karaoke. I feel like that's always how it ends up. They sound absolutely atrocious. But they're having fun. Get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then um, <laughs> Chloe's watching, making fun of them. I don't know why they're sitting on separate couches, but <laughs> our landlord is not very amused either. Okay, I know y'all didn't think the party ended there. Nope, the night goes on. I got Genevieve making some drinks for everyone at home. She invited them back to their place. It is four o'clock in the morning, but <laughs> they're getting to know each other. 
I have her and Chloe talking a little bit. Their friendship is still in the red. So hopefully we can bring it up. I mean, unless she's being trifling, then we don't want to be her friend, but. Okay, so the sun has already come up, but they're playing a little bit of Mario. <laughs> and then I'm going to send them home and we got to go to bed. She's sleeping, but Emmett is calling her. Quick question. Chloe, Rose, and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should you do it? Okay, so <laughs> considering we just all hung out last night, Emmett, I think you should go for it. Uh, I don't know. Did you like her? <laughs> okay. Genevieve just woke up and she's feeling hungover. So I think I'm going to have her make the full fry up for breakfast. It's like really greasy breakfast, eggs, meat, bread, tomato, all of that. So she's going to eat that. Her moodlets right now, it says she's hungover. She's sore from working out. She's missing out on her unfulfilled dreams. Um, her morning coffee should help out with that a lot. Okay. She's making that breakfast now for herself. It looks like she's advancing in the cooking skill for sure. <laughs> My stomach is growling so much right now and this food looks really good. <laughs> yes, no. Oh, our counter just got dirty too. We're gonna have to clean it. Here's the food cam. It looks super good. Oh, neat. The kitchen is dirty from her cleaning. We're gonna have to clean it afterwards. Look at her, she's so sad now. Stop. <laughs> I think it's because she's squeamish. I'm complaining to Nutella about our problems. One genie, huh, Rum? Okay, she's drinking her morning coffee, and <laughs> this should make her feel better. Usually it makes you feel energized. Sanush. Fabinet. Yes, perfect. So she has um, top-notch caffeine buzz. I need my coffee. Pretty tasty. Refreshing air conditioning. Yay. Okay, let me see one of the worst day ever Hungover from drinking. There's only two hours left with that. Eel gross from cleaning two hours She has a fear of unfulfilled dreams. We're gonna have to do these for her so she can get rid of that Okay, I'm going to have her look at this portrait and recall a happy memory to make her feel a little bit better Yes, perfect. We have happy memory. Genevieve is feeling pleased after thinking back on one of the best days. Oh, with her family. Perfect, love that. And then I think I'm gonna have her go outside, do a little bit of yoga for some calming energy. Let's do a energy centering yoga routine. Also, shout out to Caroline for putting me on. I got this poopy pad from Ravishing and it allows your pets to use the restroom wherever you place it. And it's a lifesaver if you're in an apartment. All right, she's doing her yoga routine outside. This is gonna boost her mood for sure. Ooh, yay, she just breached wellness level five. Now she can do DT. <laughs> Ooh, now she can do a deep tissue massage, perform the warrior pose in yoga, and might levitate when meditating. Looking at that picture of the family portrait of Genevieve and her family made me want to show you guys her old life. So this is actually where Genevieve used to live with her family before they passed away. She was still a daddy's girl, so she was living at home and they were taking care of her. And this was her life. She was living in this humongous mansion with servants and maids and you name it. It's really hard, but I think she'll be able to fend for herself without her parents around. So I really just wanted to take Nutella for a walk here and show Nutella what her life could have been. <laughs> but honestly, we probably wouldn't have Nutella if her parents didn't pass away, so. 
Usually something like this would have triggered Genevieve, but now that she's been doing a lot of yoga and she's getting her mind clear, she's not mourning anymore, this is actually making her feel really good. And she's happy that she came down here to see her life and see her old house. It's giving back good feelings. Oh my God, Emmett, is that you? What are you doing here, Emmett? Oh my God. He's like, yo girl, wait up <laughs> in the background. Emmett Rogers thinks Genevieve Ivory is swell and wants to become best friends. Oh my gosh, okay, <laughs> of course. <laughs> After Emmett asked us to be his best friend, he invited us back to his apartment. So I'm gonna quickly give you a tour of his apartment while we're here. So this is the hall to his apartment. This is his door here, but I wanted to show you the elevator. Um, he is not in a nice bougie apartment like <laughs> Genevieve because I can see like the little dirt and grime on the elevator and it is disgusting. Okay, when you first walk through the front door, you enter the kitchen and I can definitely tell this is a man's kitchen because it's pretty junky. There's just like papers and clutter all over the place. Um, and then this is his living room. Very, very tiny apartment. Over here's the bathroom. It's the bar of soap <laughs> for me. I just know that he washes his face, ass, you name it, all with that one bar of soap. So while I was looking around at his apartment, I've noticed a few things here. It looks like Emmett is actually a smoker. <laughs> He's into some illegal substances. He has a few pets. He has this praying mantis and um, this little froggy. Through this door is his bedroom. And this is his bed. He has his little computer set up here. Uh, yeah, it's a bit junky, the fruit roll-ups. <laughs> I can see he was munching earlier. And then, yeah, this is his apartment. Emmett and Genevieve were out here just vibing, listening to music, and all of a sudden, Emmett whips out his bong and starts taking a hit. Genevieve has never done any drugs, but I think that she might be willing to try. <laughs> Look at my boy Emmett's eyes. He's gone, bro. <laughs> okay, Emmett just rolled her up a blunt. Is she's gonna try? <laughs> Wait, nah, nah, nah. Th this is supposed to be your first time. Where'd you learn that shit? <laughs> No way he taught her that so quick. Oh shit, wait a minute. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> I'm excited to see how she feels. This is her first time. Okay, so we have inspiring decor because she likes the decor here. She's stoned AF off of Northern Lights. Ooh, okay. She has a new best friend from Emmett. She likes the music. She has a deep connection from Emmett. They were doing some deep conversations. She got a gift from Emmett, which was a blunt. <laughs> and then, oh, on the same wavelength from feeling close to somebody nearby, when Genevieve feels close to someone, it's safe to show off her silly side. Time to bring back the inside jokes and funny stories from the past. Oh, love that for her. Okay, I just know that they have the munchies, so I'm gonna have to order <laughs> some munchie food. And oh, this all looks so good. I think I'm gonna have Emmett have some hot wings and maybe I will get Genevieve some mozzarella sticks. Our food just got delivered. I am so excited to open this up and eat this. <laughs> Emmett is going ham on these chicken wings. Look at the bone, bro. <laughs> this is Genevieve's mozzarella sticks. They're just eating that real quick. It's already five o'clock in the morning. Oh my God. Genevieve is so slumped. <laughs> She's taking a nap on Emmett's couch right now. This was her first time getting high and <laughs> listen to that. She's slumped. She's snoring over there. He's like, I'm gonna watch TV. Dead. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end this video off here on a happy note. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.